Having watched every single Caitlyn and Vice scene, having analyzed them multiple times, I didn't think there's a detail I could have missed or um, to phrase it more correctly, a, a detail that mattered that I did not pay enough attention to. Turns out I was wrong. There is a tiny little moment I did not consider as important that over time I realized matters a lot. A detail that makes one of Caitlyn and Vice's most iconic scenes even better moment that escalates it and marks a point where both their behaviors towards one another changed. Now, let's talk about that iconic scene first. The bridge and verbal confession. And then let's discuss what followed. Coming back from the Undercity, heading towards Piltover, Vi, Caitlin and Echo slowly cross the bridge. A symbolic connection between up and down, light and darkness. Bridge, just as much as a boat for Heimerdinger, serves as a connector a turning point for characters that shift from one side to another. For example, Vi eventually crosses the bridge and symbolically leaves the Undercity behind. Or Heimerdinger crosses the river by boat, turning his back on the upper city that betrayed him. Echo, Vi and Caitlin head towards Piltover to hand back the gemstone, to discuss with Jace what Caitlin discovered in the Undercity, to make the situation ultimately better for Zorn. Caitlin and Vi, at this point, have been through a lot together. Even though they have only spent days together, even though they have just met, even though they come from different worlds and they are not alike, they found a way to communicate, cooperate, and eventually, they realize there's more to it than an unlikely companionship. Little details, indirect statements, led us to believe there's a feeling shaping up between these two. There's a bond that is making them want to stay together, instead of having to stay together. Caitlyn has saved Vi's life not once, but twice. She has traded one single most important item to her, her gun, symbol of her being a part of Piltover's forces, essence of who she is as a person, a guardian of peace, a healer, connector between up and down, just as much as a bridge or a boat, only to save Vi's life, a person she has literally just met. Despite Vi's reservations, Caitlyn stuck alone, pushed through walls that Vi has built knowing that she has a good heart. At the same time, Vi realized Caitlyn is providing a certain kind of peace for her, one that she hasn't been giving for years, a protection that only her parents and Vander previously offered to her. She realizes Caitlyn gives her just as much as her mother and later on Vander did which ultimately led to a situation that almost became a kiss, except at the time, Caitlyn backed away, perhaps shocked by her own feelings. A situation that eventually more or less meant a declaration. They crossed a certain boundary that could never be uncrossed. And what used to be a forced fellowship became one of a choice, one that slowly gained more and more importance for both of them. Captured by Echo, they got a chance to spend some moments in peace. Moments to collect their thoughts and to slowly realize their attitudes towards one another changed. For example, Vi declared to Echo that Caitlyn can be trusted. A statement that even surprised Caitlyn. After all, Vi has not fully trusted her up until now. Caitlyn, on the other hand, was determined more than ever to actually help the Undercity. Since Vi showed her what it's really like down there. The way they looked at one another in Echo's hideout only meant one thing. Feelings were already there, feelings they were both aware of. Having all that in count, they found themselves in a situation that could mean saying goodbye, maybe even forever. They were both aware a bond has been shaped stronger than friendship, and they both knew it has to be acknowledged in one way or another, or else they might never get a chance to speak up again. If their previous almost kiss was a declaration of feelings, their goodbye on the bridge was almost like a confession, except one that was unspoken. And if you weren't paying attention, it was almost unrecognizable. Vi made a decision to stay behind for Powder, still believing she can find Powder within Jinx, still believing she can save her. At the time, however, it meant that she had to separate from Caitlyn, to walk the other way, not knowing when and if they're going to see each other again. Driven by the suspicion they might not get another chance, they hugged each other tightly. They faced the truth that has been thus far unspoken, and their body language expressed what they have been feeling. Vi assured Caitlyn that it has been real. She thanked her not only for saving her life, 
but for pushing through the walls she has built, for believing her, sticking around, for hearing her out, for her willingness to heal the other city and the upper city, her willingness to find a channel of communication, finding peace. The way they gently touched each other spoke louder than words which perhaps at this point couldn't even have been phrased correctly. Not in rush, certainly not with Echo close by. Instead they hugged even tighter, an action that only meant saying without any words, we belong. Maybe if it wasn't for the fact that they knew they might not see each other, perhaps they wouldn't actually face these feelings in this very moment. But the fact that they were facing separation, it led them to actually sort of confess. Vi walked away not knowing that minutes later she's gonna have to rush right back in. Not knowing their hack indirectly caused Jinx to lose it yet again and led her to causing bridge explosions. Which finally takes me to this tiny little moment that I found very important, one that I haven't paid much attention to before, one that I recently noticed when I have been rewatching, and it actually really like touched my heart. Faced with Marcus, Echo and Caitlyn were forced to give back the gemstone. The second they did, Marcus revealed his true self and immediately shot Echo. Of course Echo survived, at the time however we couldn't have known it. Vi was far enough not to know what happened on the bridge. The only thing she did know was that a shot was fired. And in this moment, she yelled Caitlyn's name. In my opinion, this little woman has defined what the relationship has become. Vi had no idea who was shot or what was actually going on. Yet her instinct told her to yell Caitlyn's name to immediately run towards the danger instead of away from it, only to save her. If by now Caitlyn has shown multiple times she's willing to go an extra mile for Vi, in that scene Vi has proven that she's willing to do the exact same. And she does that instinctively, automatically, impulsively. She demonstrated. She has shown without a doubt she's gonna rush towards the perils and uncertainty only to rescue Caitlyn. Again, a person she has only known for a couple of days. And we need to remember Echo was there. Echo, whom she has known for years. Someone she grew up with. Someone that was like a brother to her. It was not his name that Vi spontaneously shouted though. Everything that followed only proved that Vi's priorities shifted. She found Caitlyn, offered her support, and would face with Jinx's direct attack she never expected. She chose to walk away. Chose to cross the bridge. This scene changed their dynamic, or even more so, showed us their dynamic is now something else. And if you pay attention, you will notice that ever since that little moment, in every single scene they shared together, uh, they touched each other in one way or another. When Vi found Caitlyn wounded on the bridge, she touched her face. When she walked her towards the other side of the bridge, she touched her knee. During the bed scene, Caitlyn touched Vi's cheek. Finally, during the council discussion, Vi touched Caitlyn's hand. The very last time we see them together, Caitlyn is leaning on Vi's arms. Now, I, I know it's just a tiny little moment, tiny little scene. I know it's almost nothing. But to me, the fact that Vi yelled Caitlyn's name immediately after realizing that there's danger going on, that someone has been potentially shot, maybe even Caitlyn herself, it means so much. It meant that Vi found someone she's willing to put herself in danger for, Someone that holds her unquestionable loyalty. Someone that Vi is willing to stand behind. Someone her instincts tell her to go to and rescue anytime there's a need to. And we need to remember that Vi has spent several years in prison in still water. That she has been regularly getting beaten up. We have to remember that Caitlyn is an enforcer and enforcers killed Powder and Vi's parents. It's so much more important when it comes to these two. That Vi's instincts are to yell Caitlyn's name and run towards her. If there's anything that has been a constant and arcane story told so far is that both Caitlyn and Vi are willing to go far distances for one another and that their connection became a primal one, a constant, a touchstone, and that Vi's will to help Caitlyn activates without any deliberation. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out my other video essays. I'm sorry I took a small break between making them, but there's definitely more coming. I'm still working on a Victor one, Echo, and of course more um, Caitlyn and Vi ones. Stay safe. This was Ola from Stop Me O channel. Bye.